stay with me a while. You only wanna talk to you. Stay with me a while. I only wanna talk to you. We've been halfway around the world. Find ourselves again. September mornings. Bum, 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 down, 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 down. Windy. Reminds me of a time in uh in Maine. Everything was blowing all around. Things that you wouldn't think that could uh, be blowing around were blowing around. The roads, watch. Look at that. This was afternoon traffic. There'd be so many accidents. Alright, welcome to the new WGY. Rensselaer, Albany, in the Catskills. And we have, uh, we're going to change names around. We're going to see if we can do a little bit of reenactment. I have to turn down the heater a little bit for noises. We don't want scratches, but we sacrifice here for our, our art. Our art! Old man Winter said hi this morning. He's coming. But we're going to talk to uh, Sergeant. Well, what's that? No, former Chief. Former Chief. I'm trying to think of that, um, that police song. I got warm tea in here. September morning. The deco. Right. I'm trying to think here. It's off the synchronicity album, I think. I think it's synchronicity. Yeah, it's synchronicity. Synchronicity two. Oh my God. Um, walking in your footsteps. Tea in the Sahara. But it's like Miss Miss. There was a, all right. There was a girl. Miss the deco. All right. We'll just. All right. I'll say. Um. Baker. Thanks, Johnny. Johnny always contributes to the show. Always bails me out. And yesterday, you noticed I was doing stuff like with uh, the English and all that kind of stuff. Well, I heard something, but... But I want to, like, try to, like, stick to something. Alright. What we say? Baker? Alright, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Just, uh, like looking at things, like, for the first time. It happens. Sometimes, you know, you, um, once in a while, like, an internet comes along, and, uh, you have a little passion for something, or you like people, you know, you've been tossed out for a while. And then, you know, you come and you get that, you know, revalidated. It's like, uh, it's like parking. Maybe if you're on jury duty or something. Whatever the case may be, I don't know. Maybe you're doing some kind of, uh, some kind of work at a, at a government kind of building or any kind of building. Independent building. But anyway. So we're going to call down to Florida, Cape Cranal, not Cranal, um, what are these places down there? Not Tampa, not, uh, not Sarasota, not Fort Lauderdale, not uh, Brown County or Green County. Captain, no, Cape, I don't know, Cape Tennille, we'll say, Cape Tennille. We're going to talk to Mrs. Baker. Mrs. Baker? No, he was supposed to be the chief. He was supposed to be the chief of the police. Chief, a retired chief of the police. Retired. Yes, we heard something on the radio. Usually, like, uh, Savage is on during the afternoon. We caught the tail end. He was only on for the first hour. He was talking. There's two things that kind of, like, came to my attention. But the one thing... Because I did mention, like, the Detroit, uh, it's not even blowing it, man. I mean, if somebody, somebody's probably 
somebody probably listened to that show yesterday, like, you know, yes, I would imagine so, but most of those people are gone, I don't know, the thing is, they're well informed, like I said, I mean, I often say that there's times, there's a lot of things I get stuck on, I get stuck on the point of, like, what is the point, what is, like, what are people listening to, like, for example, yesterday, with, with me and Rod and this thing, with, with you know, Alexander Cortez and uh, you know this thing where you know, let's go over to like what, what Savage was talking about he was talking about like in, in universities professors and this is amazing because I mean I was kind of like talking about some of this stuff you know I, when I was taking theater and acting with the papers and everything I, I kind of like wasn't up to par they even had to send me over to when I when I first when I was first was a freshman there for theater and acting. You know, my professor sat me down. He's like, you know, a lot of these reports you've been handed in, you know, these papers. It's almost as if like you know you don't know what the hell you're doing. I oh yeah, that's pretty much yeah. I have to agree with that, you know, that assessment. And uh, you know, he was saying. Well, we're gonna have to send you over. We're gonna have to take this like English comp class, and it was like oh, I was over at Hudson Valley. I was going to JCA at the time. You know, all this started. I don't. Know, one thing leads to another. I, I don't know how some people in the community, all of a sudden, I don't know. No, oh, I know how it started. Oh, they came because I I got contact. I made contact with uh, with the professor. See, the thing was. Back in the day, way, way back in the day, I was uh, going back to college. I think I was like 20. And uh, the people I, w I was with at the time wanted me to go for business and everything. You know, they mold you, they shape you. They want you, to, you know, they want you to conform and all that kind of stuff. So, um, so yeah, so I was all right. Even though I have no idea what I what I would be doing, I know I was good with money and everything like that. I mean, who wasn't? You know, especially when you're 20, you want moolah, you want money. That's all. I want money. You know, they explain it to you. Oh, you'll make so much money, money. And uh, but I also had a, 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 a thing in me where I, I like I like um like the spotlight a little bit. I mean, this morning, uh, Sal from the old Z Pizza, Sal, he, uh, he had something like some kind of thing with Jennifer Lopez, and, uh, she was on the carpet, or, you know, the runway, or whatever, and some kind of nice low-cut dress with the high heels, and, uh, you know, nice cut on the dress, you know, revealing, we're using good words here, have our tea. With Jerry and the Nightmare Bramer. So, um, so I was looking at that. I was looking at the way she was, you know, she's loaded, you know, and, you know, hair products, there's so many rings, so many bracelets, all this kind of stuff. And I was like noticing the people in the back, you know, they were just like, looking at her. And she was like doing all the, like, the poses, you know. She kept on going back and forth. You, just when you thought she was done, oh, more cameras, you know, I mean, that's, it's kind of where a lot of people vision these days, you know, I mean, just like that, I mean, I mean, you're, you're paid to just dress so nice, be, uh, photo, photogenic, or, you know, you have your talent to sing, and like Rod said, you know, they pulled up this video of, uh, Cortez, doing the, the Breakfast Club, I believe. Now everyone's doing it. It's, it's a new sensation. You know, Chris Como's doing it now before he goes uh, in his office. And, um, what was it really about? Is there something that, um, more to the story? That's why I say it. I mean, where are people getting their news from and all this kind of stuff? So, there's two sides to every story. So on the one hand, it's all about well, Republicans or some of their people like just um, trying to stop her. 
It's like what Glenn Close said yesterday, you know, it was the day before Sunday, you know, it's just like, don't let anyone stop you, don't let... I don't see, I'm not seeing the coalition behind it. Maybe if it was one person or something, I don't know. Uh, I'm hearing something different. So, you know, that's kind of how it is. It, they're saying, they're saying one thing. They're saying, like, you know, it's because, um they don't like women and all this kind of stuff and, and there was another story like I said with college and professors and all that with uh, you know making it very discriminatory to you know to fail or, or like you know to grade people like based on you know the standards that we have in place you know punctuations is that you know look at the kind of language sentences all this kind of stuff plus in this day and age you know with text and all this kind of things and uh, no, no, it's vastly changed. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to work my way into something. I mean, yes, the 50s, 60s, the 70s, 70s saw a big change. I mean, 50s, 60s, you know, you had the ro people on roller skates, and uh, you know, the the snack bars and all kind of stuff, the cars. I I told the story about a month and a half ago. My mom with the Oldsmobile. See all that Oldsmobile. Can we have we have a new time? I mean, this is where, like, you know, I mean, a lot of people get a big head, and I, I, I admit it. I could tell, you know, that um, without any shame. That sometimes you just you lose yourself because you got attention and all this kind of stuff, and after a while, you know, you get run down a little bit, you know. I, I often experience stages like that, and then I try to refresh it and get some some people new. I, I mean, I don't want to be do all the attention on me. I like it to be a collaboration of things and to um, to sort out all, all all the divisions. Like walking out the door, all right, you have lemon on there with. Um, with Nina Turner and uh, the other girl, I don't. I, she's a. Uh, I know Simone, Simone, and, and this other one, Seth Meyer, maybe Seth Meyer, Seth Meyer. I don't know. And then the new ones pop up. They're on there with Katie Turner and all this kind of stuff. Ones that I often seen. But it's this thing. I mean, yes, the issue with that and like you know, all the reports out of the White House that Trump is not a. Of racist and all this kind of stuff, and and they're there debating. Oh, hold your horses there. Whoa, Nelly, you know. All right. So you know, like I often said, I, I said well, I we usually get stuck in these things. You know, I, I usually get to a point where where it's like a brick wall. We're okay. So you want to get rid of, uh, you know, you want to get rid of Trump because there's all these things. None of these things, like there was a few things over the weekend that were positive. You know, there was people, you know, like Latinos and and, and some black people on um, Alex Witt, and they were explaining like you know that you know it's a good time you know for you know for employment and all that kind of stuff. What do we have here? But that I don't know. But then like you know they were just they were pouncing pouncing on him. I mean. He was saying, it was, it, was a, it was a very nice, he, he was from like, a, like an Urban League or, or, or one of these things. And I was watching it over the weekend. And I'm saying, wow, this is pretty cool. Because Alex Witt is letting, letting this guy like, like talk. I mean, he's talking about the accomplishments, the things that he's doing. And, uh, you know, you, that would, like, if the, all right, honestly, if this was Obama... This would be, you know, be talked about. You know, there was some kind of good things going on, but it's not even a thought. The main thing here, and, and as we know, like I said, we're, we're always going to end up coming back to this, because they want to get rid of him. They want to get rid of him. And I say, okay, so what is, what's the next thing to do here? In the meantime, you know, on the on the Democratic side, you got Biden taking a couple weeks. He seems to be the favorite. He's the only one that has like the kind of personality or like you know, you know, Taz. I don't know the right word. 
you know, just him. He can he can fight, you know, like a boxer in a ring and stuff like that. He can go, you know, toe to toe with him, like you know, jab for jab and all that. You know, they got Elizabeth Warren. We don't know what's going on there. She's explaining the ancestry thing or, or the the DNA test, uh, some other kind of way. Or it's new now, like you know, it's, for some reason they had time to. Uh, you know, do a little bit of damage control and all that, and you know, give the right answers, just like you know when Hillary was running, or whatever. And there was always these things, like you know, something came out, but then they came back the next day. Oh, oh, that, or whatever, like the next week or two weeks, you know. And then meanwhile, you know, then they got their, you know, they got their news organizations work for them, and they're, they're throwing out all these stories, like you know, to make people even more, like you know, revved up with anger and confused, and you know, just. I mean, because that's all they say, like, that's all they say, like, you're racist. He's a racist, he's this, he's that, everyone, ever. That, that's all. And you get up. It was depressing. It's, you know, you get in these, 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 these moments, like, you know, it's like, well, how am I going to, you know, do something here? How am I going to be taken serious? You know, and we have the guy over, the, the chief over there talking about all these things, you know, in the community. You know, this uh, task force and everything, you know, there's certain things that cost a million, you know, a million dollars. Who pays for it? And then with the other things. And then our Cortez coming up with all her uh, her new things, you know, how she's going to um, have government health care and free college and all these things, like, you know, everything. You know, everything is just going to be all said. You know, stop military strikes, just stop this, stop that, add this, add this, you know, well. Well, I don't know. I don't know where are we going. 